once again YouTube this is Frightmare 100 and I'm back today with yet another unboxing um, also as usual a couple of little shout outs to give and um, I've got a bit of an announcement at the end so if you bear with me a little bit we'll get the shout outs done first um, first up we've got AJ Punk 15 um, Adam really nice guy uh, just recently come across his channel um, I think he's only fairly recently started making videos um, but he's got a really cool collection um, seems like a really nice guy, just really down to earth and well worth checking out if you haven't already and next up, and I've known this guy for a long time and I know a lot of you do uh, really nice guy, does some really cool videos um, some really cool reviews and also gives out a lot of uh, horror news and information and stuff that's coming up and that's Thomas the 13th Wolfman um, don't know why I've not given him a shout out before um, but I've got around to it now, a really really cool guy so if you get the chance make sure you go and check him out as well um, but yeah first up let's crack on we have an unboxing it's a pretty decent box now this one's open um, My it came today my wife um, took delivery and she had some stuff in there as well um, I didn't know this was coming again and like a lot of my collection at the moment it seems um, she picked it up for me so all credit once again goes to my wife but yeah let's see what we've got I've not looked inside even though it is open so we're finding out together uh, first up cool I've seen a few people talk about this one this is Vampire Girl vs Frankenstein Girl um, from the director of Tokyo Gore Police so I've got an idea of what to expect. Should just be gory, fun. A um, couple of little special features and making of. Um, there's some footage of the release day in Japan, which would be pretty cool to see. But yeah, first up. Then we have. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, this is to go with my David Cronenberg stuff. And it's Dead Ringers. Uh, looks like a pretty basic. DVD. I don't think there's any special features, but I've never seen this one, so it should be worth watching. That's Dead Ringers. Next up, we've got okay, we've got another Asian film. This is Pulse from Kiyoshi Kurosawa. Called Pulse or Cairo, it says there as well. Um, there's a making of feature right in the trailer, but again, fairly basic, but another one I've not seen, so that'd be cool. Next up we have, alright, I don't see many people talking about this one, this is Pet Cemetery 2, um, really love the first one, but I actually enjoyed this one, um, I don't know what the the consensus is, I don't know if people generally like it or what, but I thought it was actually a pretty well made film, um, I watched it about three or four nights ago actually, it popped up on TV and I give it another watch, so that'll be cool, I do have the first one as well. So that'll add to that. Next up we have Wicked Another David Cronenberg, one that everyone should have in the collection, Video Drum. Um, again, this looks like a, a pretty basic copy of it, but at least I've got a copy of it, so very, very cool, thank you. Um, next up we have Alright, cool, we've got Jack Frost. I saw this one pop up a few times. <coughs> I was a bit when I did the 30 Days of Horror Challenge. Um, I was a di little bit disappointed in myself not having so many kind of um, holiday horror films. Um, I've got Gremlins, that's probably about the only one I've got. My wish list is now on Amazon, it's full of um, all sorts of holiday films. I'd really like to start picking some up. So I've got two now, that's Jack Frost as well, so that's fantastic. Next up, okay cool, I think... Winter King 1967, Sean, I'm pretty sure he mentioned this. This is a double feature edition of Hard Revenge Millie and Bloody Battle. And it says here the double feature disc includes the original Hard Revenge Millie feature and the sequel, uh, Hard Revenge Millie Bloody Battle. Uh, there's quite a few special features in that as well. So um, It says following in the footsteps of Machine Girl by the way of Mad Max and Robocop and the Bionic Woman. So yeah, looks pretty interesting. Oh, 
one of my wives has been left in there. Oh, all those are in here, sorry about that. Uh, next up, oh wicked, fantastic. I watched, I actually watched Three Extremes last night. Um, and I said in a few people were posting comments, I said I'm going to have to pick up the second one as well. No I don't, I've got it. So that's Three Extremes 2. Um, Brilliant. We've got the first film is Memories from the director of A Tale of Two Sisters, which I do have. Um, the Wheel and Going Home. It looks like the directors are Kim Ji Woon, Nonzi Nimit something, and Peter Ho Sun Chan. Anyway, so I've got both the three extreme stuff. Next up we have Yim Phil Sung's Hansel and Gretel. Not come across this one. Sorry about the glare folks, I still obviously got all the wrapping and stuff on. Uh, a few extra uh, special features. <sighs> okay, it says on the front, manages to outdo even the likes of Pan's Labyrinth and the Orphanage. Now, it's not gonna, sorry, Pan's Labyrinth. But, I'll give it a go. <laughs> That's Hansel and Gretel, we'll see, but it's not going to happen. And from the team behind the grudge, we have opened the door to the ultimate terror. This is apartment 1303. Um, not heard a great deal about this one either. It looks like I've got a bit of an Asian thing going on, um, which is pretty cool. I did mention recently that um, I was into the whole J-horror thing when it happened um, and I'd like to kind of get back into my Asian stuff, I don't have a great deal of it um, but it was a big part of what I loved about horror for a long time so I'm going to give it another go and try and get back into that so yeah all thanks to my wife we have a lovely little stack of DVDs to add to the collection one more thing, um, real quick, thank you, thank you, thank you, I have a little announcement to make. I've just been onto my channel and I've reached 200 subscribers. Um, incredible, never thought I'd get there. When I reached 100 I was gobsmacked, when I reached 10 I was gobsmacked to be honest with you and that's not, you know, trying to downplay it or anything, I literally didn't expect. I thought if I got one or two people that I got chatting with and they watch my videos, that'd be cool. Um, to have 200 people subscribe to my channel is just, I don't know, it's brilliant. Thank you to everybody who subscribed. Thank you to anyone that's ever given me a shout out. Thank you to anyone that's ever supported me. Thank you to anyone that's ever left a comment. Thank you to anyone that's ever thumbed up. Thank you to anybody that's done anything to do with my channel. Because, yeah, it's, it's one of the things. It's not the reason I do it. The reason I do it is... Um, to try and meet people, just to, like a lot of people say in, in life, unfortunately, um, a lot of us aren't lucky enough to come across some people that are into what we're into, it's a very kind of niche interest, um, but to find a whole community of people was, was a big thing, and I thought even if I meet one or two people that have a semi-interest in the stuff I, I'm interested in, then that'd be brilliant. So to find 200 subscribers somewhere is just unbelievable. Um, real quick again, my contest is still up and running. Um, I've got 19 entries still, which is beyond belief again, really. Um, but it's still time. It closes on the end of Thursday uh, here in the UK. So yeah, if you've been thinking about entering, um, please do. Please get involved, not just for me, but for the shout out that you'll be able to give to, to somebody who, who's going to deserve it, so it's well worthwhile. That's it folks, um, sorry to keep you, but we've got decent little unboxing there, make sure, and I'll put the links below that you go and check out those channels that I mentioned, and thank you again to everybody who subscribed, and best of luck to everybody in all the competitions that are going on, but if you get a chance, enter mine. Take it easy everybody.